Hello everybody and welcome to the ninth Kiwi Basics tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about a couple of things. One is the screen manager, we'll just barely touch on that before moving into it in the next video. As well as the builder, uh, which will be the primary focus of this, this video. So once you start building a large enough application, whatever the framework you're using is, you're going to find that you're going to need a fundamental thing and that's to move between windows basically or be able to change the screen so you need to be able to have the user you know say click on settings and a settings menu pops up or you know navigate between um, I don't know various types of windows and this is actually traditionally kind of difficult especially on like tkinter if you recall in Pygame the way that we do it is just by cleaning the entire slate and then redrawing on it with tkinter we have basically all of the windows in the background and then we load the one that we're most interested in at the moment and make that on top now that's basically how kiwi works but luckily kiwi wrote that code for us on like tkinter which we had to kind of write the code so anyways uh... let's go ahead and talk about uh those two things but mainly we're going to talk in this tutorial video about the builder so uh... the idea of builder is so with these kiwi files we saw that basically we have to have that Kiwi file, at least besides app, this word is needs to be the word of the Kiwi file. And I don't really like that. I think it's kind of messy and at least especially here where we're changing like say versions and stuff like that, um, it gets kind of tedious and annoying and all of that. And it's not really explicit. It's almost like an implied kind of thing where it just needs to be basically like the root of app needs to be the word. It's just kind of messy. I don't really like it. So anyways, uh, there is another methodology to uh, bringing in Kiwi files and that's with the builder. So I'm going to delete basically all of this code here. Um, really, uh, I guess we'll leave that and we'll leave that. But basically all of this code. Now you might want to leave it here because we're going to come back to this little widget. We're going to use it again in a little bit. Uh, but I'm trying to make sure we pare everything down to the most basic uh, values so when we add new things you understand what are the fundamentals of those new things. So I'm going to delete everything basically up to here and we'll leave the main app. Now uh, the next thing that we're going to do is instead of um, and in fact uh, what we can't, what I'll do, uh, nah we'll leave it gone, sorry. <laughs> Um, so the first thing we want is builder. Now we have to import that. That's not something that just like uh, naturally comes with Kiwi or naturally is uh, imported with say app of Kiwi. And so what we're going to say is uh, from Kiwi.lang import uh, builder, and then we're just we just need a reference builder. And so we're going to say basically like this. You would say, um, for example, we'll say presentation. Since the Kiwi files really are just your presentation, I like to use the word presentation, equals uh, builder dot load underscore file. And the file we want to load is just the name of that Kiwi file. In our case, I've called mine main dot Kiwi. That's this file here. So uh, now that will load that file in and it really doesn't matter what the name of this uh, class is really so that's basically it and the only other change you would really need to make is you would take presentation and have it return presentation now there's really nothing to this application we don't really have anything here at the moment so we're gonna have to obviously add um, something here so presentation has something to present uh, but I did just want to cover Builder before we hop into the next uh, next thing, which will be the actual Screen Manager. But to use that, we're also going to use Builder, and that should help make moving forward with these tutorials a lot easier because I kept forgetting to change this name and then this name, and it was quite annoying. So anyways, uh, that's it for this one. Real quick, simple tutorial with Builder. Um, uh, before I, I guess, suppose before we move on, I'll, we'll just say that Builder, you can also do, instead of load file, you can do something like load string. And you could load the string like so. So you could have your triple quotes here, triple quotes here, and then you could basically copy and paste your Kiwi file right in there. So like this. And that's completely acceptable. That would work as well uh, with Kiwi. I'm not going to really do that. I don't. I feel like that's. You might as well just write it in Python if you're going to do that. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm not really going to do that. I like the load file 
better. I think that's a pretty, pretty good idea. So, anyways, that's what we'll do moving forward. Pretty simple tutorial, but if you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.